It's instructive to look at the solubility as a function of temperature slightly more formally. So I'm going to draw that. Here I have an energy axis that goes from, say, plus 10 kcal, sorry again for not drawing units, to minus 10. And then there is a zero axis somewhere in the middle. And then an x axis, and I'm following Finkelstein and drawing that from roughly zero degrees centigrade to a bit over boiling, maybe 150 degrees centigrade. Now, if I look at the simple hydrocarbon, in this case, I think it's pentane uh, the book uses, but it's not super important which one it is. There are three different components and we want to include all of them. First, we had the entropy part that we will draw as T delta S. And T delta S went something from maybe, well, roughly T delta S. Plain, boring, linear, the higher the temperature is, the worse this effect is. And it's, you see here, it's mostly from the temperature. That's a, it's a straight line, meaning delta S is roughly constant. We had a second part though, we had the enthalpy. What is the cost of bonds that we're forming? Now, that is something that may be delta H. So it's, it goes up until we get to some sort of minimum there. So, oh, sorry, local maximum. And finally, if we take the difference between delta H and T delta S, we would get delta G, right? And that might end up going something roughly like that. Again, this is just qualitative. There are two or three important things to take home here. First, delta G is virtually always a balance between many terms. Do you see that coming back? Here both of them are negative, here both of them are positive. It's only in this area that it's obvious that I'm gaining here and gaining from the entropy. And in general, you, that means that you need to understand both of them. You need to understand the balance. The second part is that you see that you have a local maximum of delta G here. In this case, you had had high pressure to reach temperatures this high, but if this is now oil in pasta water, that would mean that it would be more and more and more difficult to solvate the oil until you get to some point and then it starts to get better again. That maximum occurs when delta S is zero. Why? Well, remember, that comes out straight from this definition that we had before, that the entropy S was minus the derivative of G with respect to temperature, right? And that's what we had on the x-axis. So if the derivative of this curve is that one, the max has to be where the net difference in entropy is zero. We will come back to this when we talk about proteins, because it's going to turn out so for proteins to fold, that's kind of the opposite of putting hydrocarbons in water. I know how strange that sounds, but it will make sense next lecture, I think.